Wow, the shopkeeper won't be pleased when he learns I killed his cousin. The raven hangs on a branch and stares down at Elizabeth. Thank you for that distraction. I imagine you were out just after a few shiny coins. Ravens like that sort of thing, right? But you gave me time to try my sword, and for that I am grateful. The raven toasts its head. You are fully tame for a bear. Don't you have things to do? Oh, I don't know, raven things. Eating berries, clubbing the hearts out of dead mice, that sort of thing. Or maybe you're a cat bear who's never hunted a day in your life. Are you waiting for your owner to show up with a pretty cage? Don't worry, I'll not tell your keeper where you've gone. I owe you at least that much. The lion Elizabeth's medallion goes out. When did my medallion start glowing? It's never done that before. With the sun having set, the forest suddenly feels more ominous without the light. I might as well take Simon's first sword with me. It might come in handy. Okay, onward. In my brothers, did enter this forest. They likely did it here, where the forest meets the road from Varham. A wolf's howl pierces the forest silence. Elizabeth's medallion glows once again as a wolf steps out of the shadows. I have a feeling those are my brothers. I have a deep feeling about it. Well, it's not the trees looking to attack me, but a more ordinary thread as one might find in any wood. A raven is back! The raven dives down to interrupt a wolf. It pecks at the tail of the wolf, distracting it. Coming to my aid again. You clearly have a warrior's heart, but here, a soul will make swift the work of this creature. Stay safe, Sir Raven. Raven is my brother. I feel Raven is my brother. You should be easy. Oh, this wolf is so weird. Very weird. That's twice you help me now. You're more used than ten shopkeepers' cuisines. Piety, you can't end this wounds for me as well. I know, I know. There's only so much a bird can do, unless you would like to fetch me a healer. No, I didn't think so. But don't worry about me. I'll just find some place to rest and be good as new by morning. The raven lies off, the lion Elizabeth's medallion fades. It's my fucking brother, I know it. But twice now my medallion has glow in the presence in the presence of a crow, not a danger. Elizabeth, read the signs. Read the signs the word is giving you. But I dare no way strange worrying about that now. I must find a shelter for a night. Two for four, what does will that give me? Warm me up? Oh my! Dark cave! After some searching, Elizabeth finds a cave. She cautiously peeks inside. It seems this cave has been used by others in the past. 
I'm glad there is wood here. I'm in no shape to gather any myself, and that scrap of quill will let me buy my bones without sacrificing my blanket. Elizabeth starts a fire in the cave, shadow stands on the walls around her. Elizabeth picks up the scrap of cloth, there's a letter G embroidered on it. I know this cloth, it's part of my brother's George's cloak. Did he seek shelter here, too? George would not have parted with his cloak lightly. I feel something terrible has happened. Anxious to get some rest so she can look for her brother in the morning, Isabel lays down to sleep on a cave floor by the fire. Oh, I see someone here. Firelight glows on the cave walls as the stranger quietly enters the cave. He kneels beside Elizabeth and touches her once. His hands glow with a faint light. Come morning, Elizabeth wakes alone in the cave, feeling refreshed. With a strange dream I had. Was that my brother? My wounds, they are healed. How is that possible? Was it George? Are we back into the forest? The music is so atmosphere, everything feels so like so important, so so be I just I love 